Hey Shalom, Sister Kate here. Um, it's the day after Thanksgiving. We got together with friends and our uh, family and had a really nice time. Um, it reminded me of, of the Passover, just with getting together with family and certain things that we like to do, eat some food, and thank the Father for what He's given us. Excuse me. I know online there are arguments raging, there are people whose feelings are hurt, there are people who uh, resent this holiday and look upon it as a day of murder and, and mayhem, but that is not what the holiday was intended for. It was to thank the Lord. Um, and I just urge everyone who has some strong feelings about it, read the of Plymouth Plantation by William Bradford. He is the governor of the Pilgrim Settlement. It's his diary. It's his writings. He was there. First hand stuff. Not interpreted by anybody else. And see what he actually talks about their life being like. It's, it's not this ridiculous rumors going all over the internet about you know bloodthirsty pilgrims wanting to kill people. Um, Pastor Joe put a video out about it. Uh, Pastor Dal has put videos out. There's all sorts of things raging across the internet about it every year. And yet all you have to do is go read the source material from a first-hand account. And you will see that basically they were starving most of the time. And he was, the governor of it, was having to deal with business because the other half of the people who came over on the ship with them were English businessmen. And they wanted to know why the, the pilgrims weren't shipping them wood and gold and things that they expected to be coming from that settlement. Um, and that's basically what they were doing. They were a religious group trying to become an Acts 2 church and community. And the other half were businessmen trying to make money. Um, and the people committing all the murders and the mayhem in that area were Dutch uh, merchants who Stuyvesant and all them who like were in the New York area as well were down there taking advantage of everybody and British merchants and soldiers who were doing the slaughterings. Uh, the pilgrims were peaceful for the first 50 years they were there and then they got pulled into the two leaders died and they got pulled into the uh, Continental War between the English and French that spilled over into America into the Seven Year uh, French and Indian War. I mean, it's all out there. It's history. You can look at it. Yes, uh, the natives' lives were never going to be the same once the pilgrims showed up, you know, and created a settlement here. But the pilgrims weren't even the first Europeans who came here. The Spaniards were here in droves in the southern part, you know, in the Mississippi area, um, and brought pigs with them that killed off a lot of the natives before the pilgrims ever showed up. The, the Spaniards were here in like the 1200s and the 1300s and the 1500s. So it's just, it's just a moot point. It's just the way the world worked. And it's sad for the natives, and I get that, and I love the natives, and I think they have amazing cultures that they should be holding on to and not letting it get, you know, completely engulfed by everything that's happening now. But nobody alive today did any of the things that people are resentful for nowadays. Everyone alive is living their life in this time, not 200 years ago. And so it's my opinion, just for me to, you know, you guys, your relationships now should be based on the people you know now and who you care about now. And I got to tell you, I love all the Israelites. I love all of the Lord's creation. And I hope people come to his truth. I really do. Because it's a whole nother full world, just like being born again, only better. Um, and that's my say on that. I'm not going to say anything else because it's love. Jesus' message was love, so love is the message. Um, on a different tip, I am in another rental car. A uh, pastor has a conference he's speaking at. And yes, he had his hernia, hernia surgery, um, and he's not feeling well. And so we're going we're gonna to zip to the conference, and then we're going to go back to our alternate location. And he told me, he, he told me before I came to get this vehicle, I was going to get a red sports car. And what we rented was an economy car. Um... And so I showed up today and I talked to the young man who was the clerk there and told him about it, Pastor's channel and we had a really good conversation. Guess what he wound up putting me in? A red Chevy Impala. 
it's an upgrade it's a nicer vehicle than we normally normally get and it is definitely red on the outside and so I don't know how past or new but it's amazing and it's a lot of fun to drive so that's what's happening in my life I hope you guys are being blessed just know ah, you mean a lot to me all right shalom